So why is it I say that this is the best Apple MacBook that you can buy out of the Apple ecosystem? You too! Today we're taking a look at the M2 MacBook Air four months and some change later. I have to tell you generally and truthfully and honestly that this is my favorite Apple laptop MacBook period to this date. Today's video is being made in partnership with Epidemic Sound. And if you make any online video and use music or sound effects, you need Epidemic Sound. And there's so many reasons why this is the candidate for that. This thing is beautifully built with this aluminum casing, which is always cold to the touch. So satisfying every time you grab and pick this thing up. This is the thinnest and lightest Apple MacBook Air to date. You got the MagSafe, you got two Thunderbolt ports, we have a headphone jack. We have a beautiful Apple display as per usual. We have an awesome typing experience with this new redesigned keyboard, which is in all of the current design Apple MacBooks, including the Pro and the Macs and so forth. So why is it I say that this is the best Apple MacBook that you can buy out of the Apple ecosystem? I'm gonna tell you right now. It's so simple. This thing over these last four months of use has been just absolutely phenomenal to use. Like, I just love to grab this and use this. Now, I am a proud owner of a MacBook Pro M1 Max edition that's just like crazy, right? But I use that more for the content, the editing, and things of that matter. It's actually my main workhorse that I sit at and use typically on a daily. But nevertheless, I'm always reaching for this MacBook Air more than that for general purpose use, business things, and also just for portable functionality. My M1 Max pretty much stays in one position and that's where it is. This goes everywhere with me and it travels wherever I am. And you know, it's funny because I remember all of these doom and gloom videos in the beginning at the release of this device. And I told you guys those are all lies. And so many of you guys who have taken the leap and who have purchased this M2 MacBook Air, I just see nothing but great comments, great POVs, and great perspectives about this laptop. It has lived up to what it is. Now, one thing I wanna tell you when you go to buy this Apple MacBook Air M2, you gotta be very considerate as to how you configure it because it can become confusing and it's kinda of an area where it gets complicated because the more you start to upgrade this thing, the more you start stomping on the M1 Pro MacBook territory. That's a different animal, a different beast, and that may not be where you're looking to land. So you gotta think about it like this. The base model, which this is not the base model. I'm not a base model M2 MacBook Air type of user, so my model has 512 gigabytes of storage along with 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now, if you get the base model, which is the cheapest version at $1,200, then you're gonna get 256 gigabyte hard drive with eight gigabytes of RAM, which honestly, for typical browsing, web browsing, video consumption, uh, Excel documents, even running a business, you'll be just fine with. Even for doing video editing and photo editing to a very, you know, non overextensive level, you're just fine. These M2 chips, these revolutionary performance design machines with Apple Silicon are everything that you could have asked for and more. It's a little bit better, a little bit more efficient. So you're getting great battery life unattached to a cable. As I told you, I use this thing everywhere. I'm not attaching this to a power supply as I'm using it. I'm gonna use it for multiple days on days on days on hand until I need to recharge it, I'll charge it. And the beauty about that is the charging is now MagSafe. If you've never been a MagSafe user, this is something that you're gonna appreciate because it's super easy. It's a magnet. It connects by magnet, it disconnects by magnet. So if you ever were to accidentally trip and hit your cable, your laptop stays in place. And that is exactly why MagSafe is loved in its return. And we got it. So that's beautiful. And that's what's so great about this new generation of MacBooks. MagSafe has returned. If you go for the MacBook Pro, the SD card slot has a return. Great speaker and audio as always. The MacBook M2 Air delivers in its stereo speaker build. And what I love about it is so 
concealed. It's like invisible speakers. You don't have speaker grills or anything of that sort. Yet, the speakers deliver a premium sound quality for what this laptop is. The mic quality is really good. The video quality for webcam usage and video calls and conferencing is really good. So all in all, encompassing the way that you're gonna typically use a MacBook Air, this checks all of the boxes and more. It goes beyond the typical average user. That's why these are the best Apple MacBooks available. Like literally, this laptop can service everyone. All right, now it's time for me to tell you about today's video partner, which is Epidemic Sound. I've teamed up with them this year to give you guys an exclusive five day deal. And this is gonna work on personal and commercial plans. You're gonna get 30 days free and then the following two months after 75% off. So you gotta hit the link down in the description below and get this deal while you can because it is time sensitive. So please don't miss out on this offer to have access to one of the biggest, largest and most diverse music and sound effect catalogs on the internet and web. Link down in the description below. Did I tell you that this was only available for five days? So why are you still looking at me and not clicking the link? Now, when you got pro users and they're, them having their pro needs and pro pulls and pro draws, that's why they get a MacBook Pro. It's very simple and it's simplistic. Now, as I was saying, when you configure this thing, there's something you have to think about. You really gotta really consider your storage. Like, how much space are you gonna actually use during the length of however many years you choose to use this device? I went 512 gigabytes because that's where I know I need to be in the sweet spot for this device. A 256 gigabyte hard drive would not last for me. But if it will last for you, then it's perfectly fine. Now, in the doom and gloom drama BS, <laughs> in the beginning, people were just talking about how slow the 256 gigabyte SSD is. This is a SSD, 256 gigabytes. It's not as fast as the two chip version if you get the 512 gigabyte, but it's plenty fast for the majority of you. Don't, don't get lost in the noise and the, I don't know, it's just fluff out there if you're like looking at the base model and that's where your budget lands. Now, the other side of that is the RAM. On that 256 gigabyte model, you're only getting eight gigabytes of RAM. Me, I went for 16 gigabytes of RAM. I feel like 16 gigabytes of RAM is like the sweet spot in between average user and then, hey, I wanna do a little bit of proactivity every now and then. I just wanna be able to have a ton of Chrome tabs and Safari tabs as I choose and please. Like, I don't wanna have to feel like I have to close any tabs in order to do what I do. I leave a lot of tabs open, especially if I'm doing research. Oh, it's gonna be tab galore. You guys should see my Safari bar. I might show you. Now, in terms of RAM and so forth, like just build it as you need it. This can get up to 24 gigabytes of RAM. I almost built the 24 gigabyte RAM version, but then I was like, hold up, player. Do you really need that? And I had to just like think and, you know, pull myself in. I would have loved to have gotten the 24 gigabyte RAM version just to see. All in all, like if eight gigabytes of RAM is all you're gonna need, just know that when you go beyond eight gigabytes of RAM, these devices use swap memory, which basically takes a piece of your SSD and it does that. Even with the 16 gigabyte, every now and then you're gonna see a little bit of swap memory. And some people have concerns about that, tearing down the SSD. <sighs> Listen, <laughs> just build what services your needs over time and you'll be just fine. So if you need a buffer, give yourself a buffer. If you don't, then give yourself what you need. Now, you also have to consider budget when grabbing this thing. This one that I built right here, was a little bit heftier on the budget pull and tug versus the $1,200 model or the $1,199 model that most people are gonna see. And you might be able to catch it on deal, you know, around the holidays and so forth. You know, buy what you can afford. Don't stretch any further if you don't need to. If it's a stretch for you, maybe this isn't the price point. And there is the M1 MacBook Air that you can get at a cheaper price point, especially if you look at like the uh, refurbished Mac website. So there are those options. You just got to be realistic. But in my opinion, just me just talking over the whole lineup, no uh, budget restraints and things like that. This is the best Apple MacBook out of the entire lineup. Now, again, for pro usage and for proactivity, I obviously have an M1 Max in the cut ready to go. And I use that for my video editing and all of the pro activities and just generally as my hub and my main use computer. But as I said, this M2 MacBook Air gets a lot of run out of me. I'm grabbing for this thing because I'm on the move. Oh, let me go up in this room, that room, 
I got to go anywhere. This thing is rolling with me. And that's the exact reason why I purchased it because that's what it is. This is a laptop and it's meant to be portable. The same thing goes with the uh, MacBook Pros. Those are meant to be portable and be portable workhorses for pro activities or, you know, more extensive uses. The M2 MacBook Air is built for the everyday user, which means everybody for everyday tasks and uses and even running, you know, the business and so forth, doing the bookkeeping, Excel sheets and so forth. You can do all that stuff. Anything web, browser related, consuming media, watching videos. This display is more than enough. You don't need the ProMotion on the MacBook Pro. I'm a tech creator. I get all giddy about the 120 hertz blazer, but I'm going to be the one to tell you, you don't need that. You don't need ProMotion to enjoy your viewer and experience on this device. You don't need the six speaker audio system that comes on a MacBook Pro to enjoy watching content and hearing audio on this device. You don't need the MacBook Pro machine to get any better of a video conferencing experience than what you're going to get here on this device. There's not a better web browsing experience on a MacBook Pro than what you get here. So again, for my M2 MacBook Air people, I don't want to like pull from this, but I also want to cover everything in the lineup because when I say that this is, you know, the best MacBook in the lineup, I also got to talk about some of the other MacBooks that are available. But with all that being said, this is my favorite MacBook Air to ever be released to date. The M1, people are going to argue that one. That's the better deal for cost and all that. Listen, budget aside, cost aside, and when all that doesn't matter, this is the better machine, period.